In this video, we're going to be covering how to do super elevation. Uh, so for open roads designer, uh, super elevation is very different compared to select series. The big difference being that in open roads designer, you don't need a vertical and you don't need a corridor and you don't need a template in order to create super elevation. Super elevation can be created just off a of horizontal. And as you are going through and making changes, those changes are automatically updated to the super elevation as it goes. So kind of a nifty little feature. If you don't have a profile yet, but you know what your super elevation is going to be, then you can just go ahead and start plugging it in. Or if you don't know exactly what your final payment design is going to be, then you can put your super elevation in before putting in your template. It's just a cool little feature. Um, but what we're going to be doing is covering how to set it all up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new drawing which means you're going to go to file, Ugh. file, new, no wizard, okay. Go ahead and seed in the correct file, so I need to go back to here, project resources, standards, seed, and I need a seed 2D master. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Yep. That's going to pull the information to here. All you're going to do from here is change this to super elevation. And make sure that it is going to the right folder, which it looks like it is. So click OK. Hit OK again, and it should pull in a new file after you have to check in your old ones. I should say while it's loading and doing its thing, you're still going to, it's still highly recommended that you still calculate all that super elevation out by hand even though the program's going to do a lot of it for you. Um, just to make sure that you can go through and check your event points and make sure it's hitting all the, the criteria for the super elevation. Um, just so that way you can verify that Open Roads did it correctly. All right. So once you get your new file open, you're going to go ahead and go in reference in. So go to your home tab, doesn't matter which one, they all have the attach tools on it. Go ahead and attach your CRL in Coincident World, Fit View, and there it is. Once you do that, you can go ahead and go to Open Roads Modeling right up here. Go to the Corridors tab. Once you're there, go to Super Elevation, Create Super Elevation, and change it to create super elevation sections. You're going to have a create super elevation sections toolbox open up. You can name it whatever you want. Basically you're going to leave this setting the same. But you do want to start off by changing the feature definition to super elevation roadway super elevation. So in the prompt where it says section, we're going to change that name now finally to 2314105-CRL. And then left click to accept. Now it's going to ask us to locate the corridor alignment. So you click on your alignment. Now it's going to have you ask where you want the start and stop to be. Just go ahead and click Alt to lock it to the front. Alt again to lock it to the end. Leave the minimum tangent length to zero. For the lane creation method, you're going to want to set it to manual. So you'll just click down on your uh, down on the D-pad to manual. Left click. You're going to notice something's going to start changing here. 
when I ask you to enter the name, say Lane LT. Click side of center line. You want that set to left. You want the inside edge offset set to zero. You want the lane width to be set to zero for now. Or sorry, you want that set to 12. Normal cross slope to be negative two. And now we're gonna change over to lane RT. This one's gonna be on the right. Inside edge offset still gonna be zero. Still gonna want that width at 12. Still going to want that cross normal cross slope at negative 2%. Once you get to that point, just right click to end the command. Now it's going to go to rules file name. And you'll just click on the, the ellipses there. Okay, I'm going to show you this real quick. So that way you can see where I'm going to get this from and then I'll do it inside the program. If you if it's not already selected, if you don't have a super elevation file in there already, just go to project wise, go to o.projects, projects documents, uh, then down to resources. Go to Bentley configuration organization civil o.standards. Uh, underscore ce go down to super elevation and you'll be pulling the ODOT super elevation. So that way there's no confusion on which one of these three you should be using. It's just the ODOT one. Don't worry about anything else. It's just the ODOT one. And that's the one that you load into the program. So now that I know where it's at, I'll just go back up here to Documents, Resources, down to Bentley, Configuration, Organization, Sash Civil, ODOT Standards underscore SCE, then I'm going to scroll down to Super Elevation and click ODOT. I'm going to hit Open. And now I've got the right ODOT in here, or the right Super Elevation table in here. So on the screen, you'll now that you've got the right one, you'll just go ahead and click Accept. You do want the E selection to be at 8%. So just left click again. If it's anything else, just push the down arrow until you find 8%. That's 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and then the Ashto manual or something. So then you'll left click to accept the new value. When you get to the L selection, at, uh, just make sure it says speed table. Click to accept again. Design speed, uh, you'll just scroll down until you hit 65. You can either go up or down with that uh, arrow key. Once you get to that point, click to accept the value. Pivot method, we want crown, click to accept. If it says you want open editor, click yes. So click down and then left click. Once you do all of that, you'll have your super elevation editor pop up. And this is where you'd go through and check your stationing and look at where the crown point and all the other cross slope information is. And it's going to be spelled out by each curve. Once you've got those in there, you're all done. And that's how you create super elevation inside of Open Roads Designer. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.